Some key points in building this system is number one, on the connections to some of the filters and to um, these filter boxes as well. I use an O-ring in uh, the connection that goes into the machine in there. They're not quite pipe fittings, they're, they're more straight on fittings and so an O-ring is helpful to make sure you don't have leaks. Again, this is pressurized up to about 50 PSI from the jet pump. Also, I have a couple of devices in there that prevent backflow. So the backflow preventers, are, yeah, it's about a $6 PVC part, but uh, uh, it prevents the water, it keeps the water where you want to keep it and prevents it from backflowing into the areas that you don't. And I have one on the jet pump as well, uh, just to make sure that uh, uh, nothing goes back into the tank other than clean water. Also, this, this little check valve right here, there's a little sleeve that goes into the tubing. And then you have the compression ring on the outside of the tubing. And that compression ring, um, you need a metal sleeve in there. Not a plastic sleeve, but a metal sleeve. And that makes that compression ring fit nice and snug down there so you don't have any leaks on that quarter turn valve. Other than that, the system is real easy to install. There is no real difficulty. The iSpring RO unit went together very, very easily in the sense that the, uh, uh, the filters screw into the, um, uh, the bottom very easily. There's a tight fit, and I haven't had any problems with that at all. Um, the sediment filter I change out every six months and it's looking uh, not too bad for, um, for a six month operation. Uh, the water that I have here is pretty dirty, so this filter I change out uh, probably on a every two, three month basis, and that's with a five micron filter. Um, and that's about the only maintenance that I've had with it. It's been, uh, uh, as you can tell, it's working 24 seven when I'm down here. That's why I wanted a second unit so that uh, it'll take a little bit of the load off this one unit. And uh, uh, I build plenty of water that way.